Hi friends, welcome to Tech Blog. Today we are going to install double panel. Also, show you full overview of double panel. So, what is double panel? Unlike C panel, double panel is a very simple hosting control panel that works on CentOS, Debian and Ubuntu. With this analytic panel, it's possible to manage websites, databases and FTP accounts. A DNS manager is also there but it only for CentOS 7 Plus. Moreover, it completely free. So let's go and install WPanel. Open up a browser and type WPanel.com. Here you can see it's completely free. Now click on free install button to get the installation script. Here you can see the bare minimum configuration to install double panel minimum memory required to install the panel is 512 mb but more than 768 is recommended so you can run the server with 1 gb ram efficiently also it required the 100 MB minimum disk space and the panel size is about 20 MB. So depend upon your requirement you can set yourself and finally you have to select the OS. As you can see it supports major Linux distro like CentOS 7.1 plus Ubuntu 16.04 plus and Debian 9.0 plus. So my recommendation is CentOS for production server and for developer you can choose Ubuntu. I am using Ubuntu 16.04 LTS to install the panel. Scroll down below and copy the script link of Ubuntu and then open the server terminal. Here you can see I am using Ubuntu 16.04 LTS server. First update package with apt update command. Now paste the copied link and hit enter. It will ask for the location to install all the panel. By default, it is www directory. Just type Y and hit enter key. Now sit back and relax until the installation is completed. It's take a while. Yep, finally it completed with successful message. Now, one thing you have to do, just copy the information and store somewhere for further use. Now get back to web browser and type your server IP with access token. Type your username and password to login panel. If you were trouble to access the panel, make sure that the 8888 port 
is open in your firewall. In first login, it will ask to install LAMP or LNMP server. Right now, I close this window and first you need to change default port WHWH to any other port for security reason. Just click on modify button to change the port. I am changing my port to 8989. Here you can see the changes. Also need to change the default username and password. Finally click on save button to save all changes. Also you can see there are few toggle buttons to enable and disable the functionalities like turn off the panel, listen IPv6, panel SSL, developer mode, etc. etc. Go ahead and click home again. It will ask to install LAM or LNMP again. We skip that to show REST app and how to install app individually. Go to the app store and here you can see the n number of apps which you required to run a web server or a mail server. Get back to home and I want to install LNMP, Linux, Nginx, MySQL and PHP. So I want to install LNMP server. Here you can see two methods to install. One is first and other is compiled. Compiled version is relatively slow to install but more stable. Stable because it is compiled according to your existing system version and environment. Click on one click button. Installation will start. It will take while to install. After completion of installation process, again go to App Store, find the one-click deployment and install it. It's a tool that helps you hassle-free deployment of application or website. Go to home, in dashboard section, you can see the installed software. From one, click deployment option. You can see the list of available applications like Roundcube, Laravel, Web, WordPress, etc. Just click to deploy the application. Here, I want to deploy the WordPress. Before deployment, here you can see few parameters. You have to fill this according to your requirements. First, you need to fill 
domain name. Then you can set any remarks on it. You can change the root directory. By default is recommended. Set database name. Set password. You can change the version of PHP also as per your need. Finally click on submit button. After successful deployment, copy the necessary information and store it somewhere for further use. In the dashboard, you can see that you have one site and one database. Just click on it to view available site list. Here are the list. Click on site name to view its controls. First is domain manager. You can add multiple domain for a single site. You can bind subdirectory. You can change site directory and lot many things. But for WordPress, you need to set URL rewrite. From drop down list, select WordPress and click on save button. Next is default indexes. You can use this to set your index priorities. Next is config. Config to view the VOS configuration. Next is SSL. SSL is for encrypt your site and force HTTPS protocol. It supports Let's Encrypt certification by default and easy to deploy and renew. Next is PHP version. You can change easily from the drop down list. Make sure that PHP version you want to change pre-installed before. Next you can find redirection, reverse proxy, hot link protection and access logs. From here you can directly open file manager of associated sites. Now go to database section. Here you can see the list of databases. Here all operation of database can be managed like backup, repair, change password, etc. From FTP section, you can create FTP users to access the desired directory. From monitor section, you can view different statistics of your server. In security section, you can block or open any port, turn on or off the SSH. You can block ICAMP protocol. Here I want to block ICAMP protocol. Open up the terminal and ping the server. Here you can see I can able to ping my server. But after block this protocol, I am not able to ping my server anymore. 
as we have seen earlier from file section you can browse the file system of your server next is cron section here you can set any cron job like backup database backup sites renew server ssl certificate etc from settings you can change panel setting as you know i am using this panel in a local environment so if i want to see the website which i created earlier just go to host file in your system and put the domain record and try to access the site here you can see here you can see that it will ask to install wordspace follow the step to complete the installation Here you can see your site is completely accessible. Hope this video helpful to you. Please like, share and comment. If you have any question, also click on subscribe button to get latest update. Thank you.